All right, so I'm about to wash up the cruiser, but before I do, I just want to show that the windows roll up and down because when it gets wet, when the rubber channels get wet, it gets a lot stickier. So I just want to show that they all work. So the passenger, down, up. Those rubber channels need to be replaced though soon, probably. It just really struggles when that rubber gets wet. Driver, auto down, doesn't stop on the auto down. And then back up. And back window. Oh, it's trying. There it goes. Skill skipping, it's gripping that rubber. I'll try it again when it gets wet, but it'd be much slower. And I guess while I'm here, we could do the sunroof too. And I guess it's normal on these, when you close them, it'll like stop part way. And then you press it again, it goes to rest. And then the tilt up and tilt down. There we go. Hey, I forgot to show one thing. Oh yeah. Boom. You're welcome. All right, so here's the Land Cruiser. I'm uh, just gonna do a quick walk around on the outside and I can show you the rest later. Um, might as well get right into some of the details, so. Uh, I got a little bit of paint peel. This is all over over the vehicle, but overall the body's really straight. The uh, body lines line up well. Um, it's got its fair share of little scratches and stuff. More clear coat feeling. And there we go. A couple little dings. V8, of course. <laughs> and down here, it looks like, I don't know, it rolled up against a tree stump or something. And it continues on the back underneath here. But just to get a further out view. So this part was pretty bad and oxidized. I just spray painted a little something over it from the color match section. Not perfect job, but it's better than the black oxidized that it was. Uh, windshield, kind of hard to see with the clouds, but it has a crack. Uh, and it's right here, it goes all the way across. All right, it does have a car bra that came with it. It was on there for a long time, and the moisture underneath it made some bubbling under the paint all along that line. That's the worst rust in the whole thing. So I would just put it back on, to be honest, until you find a new hood. It doesn't look that bad anyway. It kind of fits the vintage. It's right here. So a little bubbling there, uh, which means somewhere in the seal it's starting. So I'll get to that soon. Otherwise, there's like a little nick right there. A little tiny nick, right? All right, take a look under the hood. Show you the V8, it is running. All right, uh, when I splice in this uh, alternator, I'll clean these wires up. I just wanted to make sure they work with the factory plug. So I'll take it apart and clean it up nice. But there's the Vortec V8, just got that new AC compressor on there, cruise control works, as I said, no fan shroud, so you probably want to get one, uh, new brake fluid, nice and clear, otherwise the engine's all stock, there's nothing done to it, which is fine, uh, it doesn't need a lot to make this thing a little, a little more peppy, 
Uh, here's the computer. It does have the diagnostic port kind of floating around in there. So yes, it works, but OBD2 is not hooked up, but you can still see the scanners and stuff. All right, alternator. It's just a Chevy V8. I mean, not nothing too fancy. I'll clean up some of the wires too, because I didn't like the way they're bundled. But um, otherwise, that's the bulk majority of it. It's got this little battery in there. I don't know if that's just how it is, but it feels like it's missing something. But it works, so I'll leave it. Cooling, soft flush. I don't know what's up with these horns. It's kind of weird. They work, but don't know why they get rid of the other one. Um, and you can kind of see the job there with these fittings. I stuffed the O-ring under the washers to make it seal because it was not sealing. That's probably why it all leaked out in the first place. And this was whoever did the swab. This was their solution to clamp these down. I mean, it does work. I'm not super, you know, I don't like it be honest but it does work and it holds so I'll leave it. But personally I'll consider LS swapping it since it's pretty ready pretty much ready to go. It's a few wires and stuff and that compressor would go anyway. Alright I'll do some of the inside too just to show. Alright so I do have some uh kind of generic floor mats for it. They're in the back. This is my personal stuff. Uh, oh, but there is the only seat tear is right there on the fabric. I don't know how it got torn back there, but it did. Uh, they kind of custom made a cup holder in here. That's the uh, Kenwood CD USB device. Um, as you can see, it's all complete. Dash is really nice, crispy. Here you can see that crack in the windshield a little better. Gauges, all the lights in there work. Driver's side floor, seats, sunroof. There's the middle row seat. Carpet back there. It's pretty clean. I just vacuumed it, but I didn't do any in-depth cleaning. So there's some spots on the seats. Nothing really major. Keep on going. Uh, so if you don't know how these seats work, they fold forward and you lift this thing and they go up. And it has a little latching system where you can hook it onto the B pillar or the back of the headrest and uh, keep them up. So I got this bucket back here because I just washed the, the floor mats, the car bra, and the rubber mats. They're all back here. As well as there's a big carpet mat that covers the whole cargo area. That's back here as well, but it, it needs to dry out. Um, so I'll bring it home after this and dry it out before I put it back in. All right, I'm going back. So this door takes a couple pumps, but it'll stay up eventually. Or it'll come down part way and just stay. Sometimes it goes all the way up, so I don't know what the deal is with it. All right, just making sure that water didn't leak out, but it looks like we're okay. Nothing dries up here in the Northwest. You can see little things like this, because this vehicle sat for a year, so some of the surfaces got a little surface rust on them. Nothing major, but just want to point it out. Third row seats, that stow, they're in just as good a condition as the other seats. Uh, no rips or tears or anything. Uh, a few spots on the headliner, but nothing major. Again. And uh, tailgate and all that just works perfect, so no problems. A uh, little surface rust here from moisture accumulating, but it's nothing structural. Goes, goes. A little crack in the Land Cruiser thing there. Um, I, it sounds like almost like I don't want to sell you this vehicle, but I want you to know everything that you're going to get. So coming around the driver's side, from this side uh, of those cushions getting worn. So when people have been sliding out, it causes this to rip. Occasionally you'll get um, the little foam crumbs down here from the foam breaking down. But it's still not, it's not bad. It's all right. It's not like you're sitting lopsided or anything. Again, just a little close up of the floor. My dirty feet from today. And again, the miles right there, 197, 814. Has that factory alarm. 
power mirrors work fine, power doors, power windows, cruise control, all of it works. All right, go show you a little bit underneath. So here you can see, maybe you can hear me, maybe not, bird feels. So you got a little surface rust on the axles, no big deal. Uh, you start to get a little oil coming through there, not much, but it doesn't need a rebuild yet, but it will. Uh, same over here. I scraped some of the grease off, so that might be some of what you see. Again, just a little surface rust in there, but it's no, it's no real rust. I'll show you the rocker panels too. gaskets in there and everything. Um, I'll show you the other rocker next. Alright, so start way over here. Upside down. All the way down. Exhaust is routed different now because of the V8, so it doesn't come out on the outside of the frame anymore. Gas tank, got some grease on it. Nothing major. I think it's all from when the power steering was leaking, which I fixed. And I think that's basically it. Next I'll do a drive with it, show you how that transmission shifts. <laughs> 